Welcome to the Automobile Brief. The content of the briefing includes. Tara tried to save some of her pay going to tax, but it ended up costing her thousands. EV battery plant rides bumpy road in this Michigan town. EV transition could take longer than the Biden administration wants. Here's why. How Oscar Piastri wowed the F1 world in his rookie season. Advanced to go and collect Barbie Monopoly on sale at Amazon for just $12, over 50% off. Tara tried to save some of her pay going to tax, but it ended up costing her thousands. ABC. A tax-reducing car deal known as a Novate lease can leave motorists out of pocket, according to a Brisbane finance lecturer. Anna Mortimer told ABC News that people signing up for a Novate lease were not always aware of administration costs, such as registration, insurance and roadside assistance. The FBT exemption on electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles, however, could lead to significant savings. The Australian Financial Complaints Authority was unable to provide data on Novate lease complaints. EV battery plant rides bumpy road in this Michigan town. Wall Street Journal. A Ford EV battery plant in Michigan has been scaled down, while work was paused in September. The Blue Oval battery plant will be smaller and cost $1 billion less than originally planned. Local residents oppose the plant, citing environmental concerns, opposition to a Chinese company, and the loss of farmland. Ford officials said labor costs, incentives, and changes in demand were factors in the decision to scale down the project. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer's office said the smaller version of the plant would be a win. EV transition could take longer than the Biden administration wants. Here's why. Yahoo. The U.S. government wants half of all new vehicle sales to be electric by 2030. But reaching that goal looks increasingly difficult due to obstacles ranging from pricing to charging infrastructure. Earlier this week more than 3,000 auto dealers asked the White House to tap the brakes on its electric vehicle target. How Oscar Piastri wowed the F1 world in his rookie season. The Sydney Morning Herald. Australian Formula One driver Oscar Piastri has exceeded expectations in his first season on the grid, according to former champion Alan Jones. Piastri finished the season in ninth place, ahead of fellow rookies Logan Sargent and NYCK De Vries. He is considered a strong contender for the FIA Rookie of the Year award, which he won in 2021. Piastri had a slow start to the season but improved as the year went on, achieving top five finishes in the British and Hungarian Grands Prix. Jones said Piastri had performed better than expected, although his success was not entirely surprising given his performances in lower formulas. Piastri has signed a contract extension with McLaren and is expected to continue as the team's driver in the 2024 season. McLaren finished fourth in the constructor standings after a slow start to the year. Piastri said he was looking forward to building on the momentum of the second half of the season in 2024. Advanced to go and collect Barbie Monopoly on sale at Amazon for just $12, over 50% off. Yahoo! Barbie Monopoly, an all-ages version of the classic board game, is currently on sale for $12 on Amazon. The game features a Barbie-themed board and includes pink zinc tokens like high-heeled shoes and roller skates. Players can build dream houses on Barbie streets and collect rent as they go. The player who builds the biggest Barbie world wins. Reviews for the game praise its colorful and well-made design, as well as its diversity in characters. The game is described as a great twist for Barbie lovers of all ages. Ask the expert, how can I get out of my service plan now the dealer's franchise has changed? Telegraph. A customer who purchased a service plan for their Toyota has been left in a predicament after the dealership where the plan was purchased switched to the Kia franchise. The customer has been told the plan is not transferable and that they will not receive their annual warranty renewal as a result. The customer has been advised to cancel the plan and receive a reimbursement of the premium. They have also been advised to shop around other Toyota dealerships to find a new service plan. Walmart joins the growing list of major companies to suspend advertising on Elon Musk's X. Yahoo! U.S. retail giant Walmart has suspended advertising on Elon Musk's social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, following Musk's endorsement of an anti-Semitic post. Walmart is the latest major company to suspend advertising on X, joining Disney, IBM and Apple. Other companies, including Warner Brothers, have also pulled their ads from the platform. The controversy could reportedly cost X $75 million in ad revenue by the end of 2023. BMW recalls SUVs after Takata airbag inflator blows apart, hurling shrapnel and injuring driver. Associated Press. BMW is recalling 486 X3, X4, 
and X5 SUVs from the 2014 model year in the US due to concerns that the driver's airbag inflators, made by Takata, could rupture and hurl shrapnel in the event of a collision. The recall raises questions about the safety of 30 million Takata inflators currently under investigation by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, most of which have not been recalled. At least 26 people have been killed in the US by Takata inflators since May 2009, and at least 30 have died worldwide. Dear viewers, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees World, here to bring you the latest news updates. Today, we have a mix of stories ranging from tax-saving troubles to car plant controversies, Formula One success, Barbie monopoly deals, service plan predicaments, advertising suspensions, and vehicle recalls. Let's dive in. First up, we have Tara, who tried to save some of her pay by reducing her tax through a Novate lease, only to end up costing her thousands. It turns out that administration costs were not properly communicated, leaving her out of pocket. Looks like Tara's attempt to outsmart the taxman backfired. Next, we have a bumpy road for a Ford EV battery plant in Michigan. The project has been scaled down due to various factors, including opposition from local residents and changes in demand. The smaller version of the plant is still being hailed as a win, but it seems like the journey to a greener future isn't always smooth sailing. Speaking of electric vehicles, the Biden administration's goal of having half of all new vehicle sales be electric by 2030 might be harder to achieve than anticipated. Pricing and charging infrastructure are just a couple of the obstacles hindering the transition. Looks like the US government might need to tap the brakes on their ambitious target, as requested by auto dealers. On a brighter note, Australian Formula One driver Oscar Piastri has wowed the F1 world in his rookie season. Despite a slow start, he finished in ninth place and is considered a strong contender for the FIA Rookie of the Year award. Piastri's success is not entirely surprising given his performances in lower formulas, but it's still impressive nonetheless. Keep an eye out for him in the 2024 season. In other news, Barbie Monopoly is on sale for just $12 on Amazon, offering a fun twist for Barbie lovers of all ages. Players can build dream houses and collect rent on Barbie streets, with the player who builds the biggest Barbie world emerging victorious. It's a colorful and well-made game that has received positive reviews. So, if you're a Barbie enthusiast, this deal might be worth checking out. Now, let's address some questions and predicaments. One customer found themselves in a bind when their service plan became invalid after the dealership switched franchises. They were advised to cancel the plan and shop around for a new one. It's a reminder to always be aware of the terms and conditions of any service plan you purchase. In the world of advertising, Walmart has joined the list of companies suspending advertising on Elon Musk's social media platform, X. This follows Musk's endorsement of an anti-Semitic post. The controversy could have financial implications for X, potentially costing them $75 million in ad revenue by the end of 2023. It's a reminder that endorsements can have serious consequences. Lastly, BMW is recalling some SUVs due to concerns over Takata airbag inflators. This raises questions about the safety of millions of inflators currently under investigation. Takata inflators have been linked to fatalities in the past, and this recall serves as a reminder of the importance of vehicle safety. That's all the news for today, folks. Remember, even in the world of news, there are ups and downs, twists and turns. Stay informed, stay curious, and always be ready for the unexpected. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and questions. What do you make of these stories? Let's hear your ideas. Dr. Six, signing off. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief via email.